everybody and welcome to episode 5 of Game of Thrones season 1, whatever, episode 1. Mira, um, we just sort of fucked up talking to Cersei it? a bit, but hey. Cersei has a way of um, looking at you as though you're nothing. It went well. I'm really? just going to say that. It's relief. I don't know if it actually went that well. Difficulty. It went Lady Marjorie all right. Spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you oh, and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Better than Sarah being at the Jane. front, because we all know what's going to happen. Of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. Mm. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. It was probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps <laughs> Lady Marjorie I shouldn't have said right that. introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, you. marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Rob's not that great. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Not Joffrey. Well, I Joffrey's would a bit of an ass. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I like that girl. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> Brienne and what Jamie, number match. one ship. Sir Bronn and. What are you doing? <laughs> I love this. Oh, she's not that happy. Well, we're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game, it's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. She's the right. Queen was pleased not. by your Not in this show. I'm just glad it's over. She says she was pleased or displeased? King's landing can be exhausting sometimes. I think she said pleased. That's okay. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. Ah, oh, Marjorie. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. How can you not love Marjorie? She's fucking fabulous. Agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave. She said that really slyly. Buttons. That like, cannot have been easy. I know you must we have fear to love what Lord Marjorie. Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, okay, my lady. Okay, she's happy. There's been something on my mind. Something important. We have I, to ask. I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Is Sarah going to betray us? Probably. About She's probably, like, for the queen. I trust her. That was a bad move. Go on. Ask. We gotta approach Forgive with me, females. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Yeah, Francis Sarah's Snow. definitely for Cersei. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Marjorie cares about Joffrey mothers, knows I think. only too well your family fought for the Starks. 
And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Oh. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. My mother feels it is urgent, my lady. She's unfamiliar with King's Landing and its politics. I hope you can understand that. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Yay! Thank you, my lady. Thank you Marjorie. You're my fave. You're my bae. I don't think Sarah's that happy. But hey. We, we had to. Alright. We're back to the squire. Slash. Never gonna get laid man going to the wall. Which I'm praying doesn't actually get to the wall. <laughs> and he let go of his horse because he's real smart. Seven hells. Someone's getting played. Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh my gosh, but Each you. Year, my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. work unfortunately I suppose I have full enough practice but he didn't make it easy what with all that bloody why noise. do we have the pop out like a drowning cat I thought he'd never stop as my father likes to say a naked man holds few secrets but the flayed man, man holds I... none oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> all right oh. I'll pay better attention next time. Follow my gulas. I'm going to leave this in there. <laughs> I just got really excited to say their words. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. All right, let's pop I back in. Easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> pop out. Like I thought he'd never stop. As my father Pop likes to in. say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, oh. the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the north. He does now. I want to see, sort of. How much further is it to these foresters? He's really bothering with the foresters. Two at most. What was that? Ramsey ain't happy. Don't want to fuck with Ramsey. Run there. away, run away, run away, please. Hear that? I know I heard something. <laughs> yep. Where to run? If you stayed still, no. Nah. All right, and now we're back to the house, and Lord Ethan, we got Ethan probably going to be training. As I was saying, you are young. I hope. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Oh yeah, wait, we don't trust but the master, do we? Three hundred generations of forester lords stand. He sounds like you. Australian. I don't know if he is or not, but he has that little twinge in his accent. House, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What yeah, he definitely sounds father? Australian. Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Yep. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. He was honorable though, and honorable people turn. get killed, get the shit beaten out of them. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. 
He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Who's gonna be the Sentinel? Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. Ooh. What's we gonna do? I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Missed. Who is this man? Yeah. This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking mm. know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes. Looks like a bit of a vampire. I fled. He's we here. All flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. Uh. Leave the poor man alone. Lord Ethan, oh, what am I, I gonna do? Are hard, but they're honest. What am I gonna this do? This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. Oh. You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. They need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. Uh... We can send him to the war. Well, everyone wants mercy. Okay, we're gonna go the Madri rule. I will decide. Send him to the wall. And we are Take going to. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. We have to. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No, oh, please, my lord. My family. I'm Nothing sorry, but we're sending a lot of people to the wall. They need people. No. Maybe. Possibly. The wall's a bit boring, but hey. Your house will remember. Oh, that was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet we our punishment to. when it's We had to. We didn't want to cut off his fingers. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You have to do your duty. In you heard this. what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face <sighs> of disloyalty. Oh, well, he you wants to be the sentinel, doesn't you can he? Trust by your side. Someone you can rely on. No matter the circumstance. But, Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is He's one. He's trying to lord sweet talk me. And so there must but be one. But they were like, don't trust him. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them, solicit the opinion of people close to you. All right, I already yeah. sort of. The racer of the Sentinel. Oh, I don't know who I'm the gonna pick. The badge of office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Hmm. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. I will. Trust me. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. He's a bit of an asshole, but at the same time, you know, he's a good warrior, dude. Hmm. Oh. 
Let's talk to Duncan quickly. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider. I reckon I'm going to pick Duncan. Decision. But perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. I don't know. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would I think you you're going to pick him. Sentinel? He seems more than you can imagine. My really lord. balanced. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate yeah, Duncan. your advice. Thanks, I'm at mate. Your service, my lord. Don't care about the food. Can we talk to the sister? No? Alright, let's talk to. Not Malcolm. Let's talk to Sir Royland quickly and see what he has to say. I mean, he's a good warrior, but I think he's sort of stupid. Of course, my lord. I wonder how he got those scars on his face. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your oh. advice. Sorry. Mm. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's He's going to be pissed at me when I don't choose and him. Everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man they need. And might I remind Are you, though? it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrod to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the Talking's time Talking's better than so, being a fucking when wanker. When will you declare your decision? My lord. Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Alrighty. Let's wander around here. I think maybe we leave it till next episode to go to the small council where you see where I actually make my decision. I mean, you sort of heard what I'm going to do, but... Let's just leave it there. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you again next episode. Bye!